tonight is April 27th and we're at the Mamarnik Village Court where over 20 residents and business owners have voiced their concerns regarding the new parking resolutions on Mamarnik Avenue. We need additional parking and the revenue is a good idea from 6 to 9, but we need more parking, additional parking. Flipping after a two hour period is not going to resolve long term issue. It's always going to be a problem. The second is that I want to address the issue about the two hour limit in a zone. I went down and I visited Washington, D.C., which uses this system, and I have to say that it really left a bad it taste in my mouth that because it said, Mamernak, the friendly village. I would like to know now who stays up at night taking up these cockamamie ideas of turning it to the unfriendly village of Mamern. Because you guys cannot even enforce what you have in place already. You can't enforce what you have in place already. The changes suggested in the parking study done by Walker Parking Consultants are to have people park Mamernick Avenue for two hours between only 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. every day, excluding Sundays and holidays, changing from the current two-hour parking law ending at 6 p.m. A three-hour bar on parking in the zone of Mamernick Avenue will be imposed as the new multimeter system to be installed will take note of license plate numbers and simply moving your car to another spot on Mamernick Avenue to be divided into zones 9A and 9B or adding more time to a meter will no longer be allowed. Even before 7.30 p.m., the courtroom was buzzing. The parking resolutions were moved up after the mayor saw the large turnout. Business owners from Robert's Department Store, 360 American Grill, Molly Spillane's, and more, as well as residents, let the board know their thoughts on these resolutions that would affect their employees and patrons if passed. And as a restaurant, you're going to come to my restaurant. Thank God we got a good rating. We got a little line outside the door. Okay? Now you wait 20 minutes to eat. You got six of your friends. You come in, you sit in the back, you want to have a drink. It's a beautiful night out. You're limited to not only eating in my restaurant for two hours, but you have to have a chauffeur come bring another car and take your car away so you don't get a ticket because you can't be here for someone. I can understand moving it down or paying extra like the gentleman said. That's, it makes sense, but you're going to chase everybody out of this food town. There's a reason it's a food town. It's by the water. We've got great restaurants and we have people that pay meters. You want to extend the meters to 9 o'clock? Fine. But you can't tell them that after two hours, you're done, you've got to go home. It's, whoever thought of that just wasn't thinking. And I don't know if anybody that thought of that does any business in this town other than being on the board. What about the special needs people, the old people? You've got all the reasons here in this room tonight not to do it. You've got all the reasons not to do it. You've got all the reasons not to do it for $75,000. In my opinion, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Suggestions such as charging long-term parkers more to clear a signs pointing to more parking elsewhere were mentioned to the board. Attention was also called to drivers who deal with disabilities and the elderly. Tensions grew, not just from village residents and business owners to the board, but also among trustees. Trustee Miller called for politeness and respect twice, especially for Trustee Porak as the public comments drew to a close. It's me to see the disrespect that the community has for this particular individual up here, unfortunately, tonight. Um, it's really, uh, you know, what we do is really hard. And, and I'll tell you, I'm gonna say it outright there, what Leon does is really difficult and you know not everything is a win and not every idea is a good idea but i challenge you to come up with an idea that will put you in front and center and up on the tv every other night and present it to a community to be given feedback on discrepancies in the parking study carried out by walker parking consultants were also called to attention, including the observation from business owners that they weren't approached by the company on their thoughts on the study. Mayor Rosenblum himself was not a fan. The two parking resolutions have been tabled until further notice. Well, I think what happened, first of all, I'm totally against it. But what this clearly demonstrated is democracy works in the village of Mamaronic because I believe the majority of this board was going to pass these two resolutions. And the only reason I didn't pass it was because the overwhelming uh, comments against it 
And I, again, I said it publicly before, it's lunacy to do this. Right now, we are the number one destination in Westchester County. We've been rated as number one by two major uh, magazines that uh, we are number one in New York State. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Of course, you always look for revenue. Revenue is nothing more than taxes. The majority of the people that come to the village of Mamaroneck, and we estimate at least conservatively two million visitors a year, you're going to scare those people away. It's not too far away that uh, you can go from number one destination to number one joke. And that's what this village is going to turn into if these things are ever passed. It's been over two hours and there's yet to be a resolution. Regardless of the differences in opinion, all can agree that parking is a problem in the friendly village. I'm Sibylla Chipazewa, reporting for the local live from the Mamarnak Village Court.